Hi, I'm Bruce, and today I'm going to show you how to make this industrial swinging towel bar. Ever since I did the shiplap on these walls, we have not had our towel bars up. We didn't like the old standard towel bar. And with our tub right here, it's very hard to reach over and, and hang it up to where it can actually dry, and we use these towels constantly. Since we have not had a towel bar up, we have been using a temporary solution, which is just hang a towel and put it up on the doorway. Definitely less than glamorous. I'm tired of us having to do that. This needs to go away. This angle doesn't really matter. I've got a little bit of checking right here in this board. So I'm just kind of coming below that. I measured it at first, but there's really no reason to. I actually think I want to change it up a little bit. Over here, I want it to just come straight off the end to meet up like that. There we go. Oh, is it hard? Did you touch it? Yeah. Put it all over. Ready? Like this. Put it like this. Okay, let's get some clamps. Do you want glue to come out up there? Uh, a little bit. I used my knife to score a line on the pencil line. I'm putting a slight chamfer on the underside of my inlay piece. It will allow it to go into the slot better. I learned this trick from John Peters. You take some really fine dust from a previous project and mix it in your epoxy to color it slightly. And he typically likes to use a shade darker than the piece you're adding it to. And I have found I like that as well. This is walnut dust. See my hand? Mm -hmm. it with this hand. Use this hand to guide it. Push down right here, down into the board. I countersunk some holes so that I could plug them later with some plugs I made. Next, I gave everything a good sanding. Then I put an eighth inch round over on almost every surface. This is one of my least proud moments on this project. I kind of slipped when I was cutting using the uh, router and I have a <laughs> not exactly straight line there. Still worked out okay, but I've got a little bit of slot back here and then that little wave there. So anyway, I didn't feel like it was worth getting a straight edge out and trying to cut and I wasn't fiddling with chisels this time. So um, I just freehanded it.
If any residue is left after the stickers, acetone takes it right off. I used some files to sand away all of the rough burr and edges that I found. After a couple coats of lacquer, I usually sand with 320 grit. Sometimes when you get this galvanized steel pipe, it has kind of a greasy residue. I have found that it's handy to just wash it with dish soap and then dry it off really well. I had previously assembled everything but took it all apart to put the finish on. Here I am just putting everything back together. There you have it, the finished industrial towel bar. I love how it swivels out to accommodate two different towels and we will get tons of use out of this. I ended up securing it to the wall just by screwing directly into the studs. I decided not to even try to hide the screws, but I did line them up with the bar so they're harder to see. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Thank you for watching, I really appreciate it. I would love to have you subscribe to my channel. If you didn't see how I did this shiplap wall, I will link that video right here, and I will see you very soon in the next video.